Hello, dear friends. Welcome to your favorite channel, Everyday Affairs, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world with special focus to Africa and Nigeria. I welcome you to this session and I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you can always get notification whenever we post a new story. Right about now, I want to appreciate you guys once more and I want to say that if you are coming across this channel for the very first time, welcome on board and I thank you for your support. Please subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post a new update. Thank you for your time and uh, I wish you a happy listening. All right, the news in full and in details. Date has been fixed for the Biafra agenda to be discussed with the U.S. government. Namdekano reveals in his latest post about the next move for Biafra. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Namdekano, has called on the people of the Southeast that the date has been fixed for the Biafra agenda to be discussed, and this is the time to watch the happenings in Nigeria. We need to be calm, because false prophets will be used to destabilize the Ibus, so that Biafra might not be achieved, he said. He further said, he said the world leaders have made it known to other regions in Nigeria that nothing will stop Biafra restoration and that if they like, they should form a parallel group to fight for their regions. The Southwest formed Amboteko because of insecurity in the Southwest, while the Northerners, uh, the Northern youth, formed Shege Confessor. Later, the Southwest has been agitating for Odudua as a country. Nambekano further said that we the Igbos we need to be united so that Biafra will first be declared before any of them comes up. The world leader should support the world leader supported us and also be careful not to miss it. Nambekano said. In furtherance of the plans to meet with the United States President, Hanamde Kano reveals and said that plans have been put in place to meet the United States President Donald Trump with some members of the IPOP family on the, March, on the 13th of March 2020. I repeat the date again. Hanamde Kano said that plans have been put in place to meet with the U.S. President with some members of the IPOP family on the 13th of March 2020 in order to discuss the new strategies to surprise Nigeria about Biafra. Biafra is near. Let us come together to achieve this, Namdekano reveals in his latest broadcast. All right, guys, um, what do you think about this particular news and um, what do you think about this particular um, issue? The call and the agitation for Biafra seem to be gaining momentum day by day, minute by minute, per second per second, per hour per hour, as the day goes by. There are new surprises that comes up or that are coming up, you know, uh, in this struggle to actualize Biafra. Now, another step has been revealed by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, and uh, he has just revealed the date that has been fixed for a uh, meeting with the U.S. President Donald Trump for a special meeting and discourse on the realization of Biafra. You will not forget that just a um, few days ago, you know, Namdekano also revealed that there will be a one million March protest of freedom at the Washington DC in the United States of America uh, come June 20, 2020, where he has called on all members of uh, the IPOP family over, uh, overseas, wherever they may be, to come together so that they can actualize Biafra, so that they can join in the One Million March to gain the attention of worldwide to um, promote the agenda for Biafra and to um, 
enlighten the world, to draw the attention of the world to the agitation and the struggle of actualizing Biafra. Inasmuch as these are wonderful steps and wonderful moves, uh, Namdekano keeps surprising and unleashing plans after plans on steps after steps on how Biafra will be achieved. How do you think this is going to happen? It further tells you how astute uh, Namdekano has been in the struggle and in the pursuit of his mission. As it is right now, it's only seem that the only mission that Namdekano has is actualizing Biafra. So what do you think, or how do you think that um, Namdekano actually achieves this feat? It is not a main feat, it is not a lean feat, I, I mean to say, it is not a lean feat for um, anyone to gain the attention of the President of the United States. Uh, don't forget that Namdekano was cited at a particular rally uh, in Iowa, I think, if I'm not mistaken, where uh, he was invited by a Republican to the uh, Donald Trump rally, where he was a special invita invitee. He had a special invitation, he was invited, he witnessed the rally, and he was there in the rally. And according to reports, he was, you know, he was invited and given a special welcome where he had a special seat with um, huge uh, delegates in, at the uh, campaign of Donald Trump in the United States of America. How does Namdekano pulls off the strings? There are some strings that Namdekano actually pulls off that even some of the government of, of Nigeria or some of the people in the government of this country cannot pull such strings. How does he achieve them? How does he make them happen? These questions need to be asked. You need to find out as how does this guy achieve this stuff? He can only achieve this with the support of his people. And it is only the only explanation is that this is a man on a mission. This is a man who has set to uh, set out to achieve just this mission, and I think he does not have any other mission aside this. Let's not forget that it is in the course of the struggle that Namdekano lost both parents, who were recently buried in Isiama Afaraku in the um, Abia State. So, based on this, what do you think you know would be the next line of action? After meeting Donald Trump, what do you think will be the next actual action? The agenda of the meeting has not been made known yet, but definitely there's going to be a meeting. How do you think Donald Trump will receive this news? And how do you think Donald Trump would uh, uh, react to this? We all know that Donald Trump is not a fan of the African countries, neither is he a fan of uh, Nigeria as a country. Recently, he I was instrumental to the um, reciprocity uh, um, bill and what have you that was uh, placed on Nigeria. He, uh, he was also very instrumental to the uh, visa ban, then the executive order that placed Nigeria on the list of um, you know, migration ban also, which um, Nigeria currently is still uh, sitting on. So, uh, do you think that this meeting will go a long way? Uh, will this meeting will be successful in the struggle of Biafra? Do you think that uh, Namdekano uh, will uh, be able to convince Donald Trump, you know, to, uh, you know, support Biafra or um, achieve or support the actualization of Biafra? Do you think Donald Trump will be able to give listening ears? And uh, give his support for the actualization of Biafra. Well, it seems to. Uh, we just have to keep our fingers crossed. Actually, we don't know. Donald Trump is somebody that is uh, somehow not very predictable. So we might not be able to predict the outcome of the meeting yet. In as much as everyone can call, can congratulate Namdekano, uh, you know, for achieving this feat. But another um, hurdle is how he can uh, how what the outcome of the meeting would actually be so that is just it well let's um let's enjoy the euphoria of um this meeting with donald trump and um and wait for the outcome of the meeting one thing is very clear and very certain that ipop members and nam de Kanu are working very very hard to achieve this um realization of Biafra. It is 
left to see how soon it will be achieved. But in the meantime, we have to give it to Namdekanu as he's working tirelessly to achieve this. Well, these are my thoughts and views on this particular news story. I would like to hear from you what your thoughts are on this news story. Please don't forget to drop by and uh, subscribe to this channel and also drop by at the comment section to let's understand, let's see uh, what you think about this news story. Thank you for your time and welcome on board. I'll see you on the other news again.